Well, uh, Patrick Franti here with the Villa Group. Um, coming to you today to do what's well, probably a long overdue video. Um, it's been a little while since we've put out a real in-depth kind of market analysis, giving you a lot of the numbers. So we definitely want to do that today. Um, hopefully that helps all of you to get a good understanding of kind of where our real estate market stands currently and how that relates to kind of the broader economy. Um, so I'll just dive right into it. Um, I want to start by jumping back to 2023 year end stats, look at those, and then we'll look at the first couple months of 2024. And we'll talk about how those relate a little bit. So diving into it, 2023 year end numbers. A lot of things were down last year, as could be expected. Um, Sales volumes for single family homes were down 28%. Median price was up 8.5% to 1.2 million. And that's for you know the entire island. This is island wide numbers. Inventory last year was down 23%. So that's from the year prior. So obviously, that volume number and that inventory number are definitely correlated. As that inventory tightened up, transactions just weren't happening. On the condo side, volumes were down 36%. Median was up about 7.5% to 832,000 for condos all around the island. Inventory for condos, now here's a kind of stark contrast from the homes, was up 65% at the end of the year. Now, what's causing that? Um, Obviously, that is, well, maybe not obviously, but that is a direct result of the Lahaina fire tragedy that happened in August. So what we saw is after that August fire, obviously, the, you know, the island completely shut down for a few months. Um, we saw many of the short-term rental owners in West Maui and, you know, not only in West Maui and, in, in, you know, in South Maui as well. Um, ended up listing their condos. So the, the inventory of short-term rentals um, in the fourth quarter of 2023 definitely spiked. Um, that's what's driving that inventory number up 65% from the year prior. Um, now I wanna dive into the resort markets, um, show you what was happening there through the year. Um, we'll dive into Wailea as, as you know, kind of our primary example. Volume for single family homes in Wailea in 2023 was down 39%. It was only 20 sales uh, compared to, I think it was about 33 homes traded in 2022. So volume down 39%. Now, median price point was up almost 30% for single family homes. This um, is a bit skewed, and we'll dive into that at the end here. Um, inventory numbers were up from 12 to 20 from the start to the end of the year. So throughout 2023, there was 12 homes on the market to start the year. We ended up with 20 on the market at the end of the year. And this was, you know, this was very easy to see being in the market. Um, we definitely saw those homes available creep up. Um, the demand has softened a little bit for those homes. Um, you know, a lot of them were seeing longer days on market, and hence um, that inventory increase. <clears throat> For condos, uh, volumes weren't down quite as much. Volumes were down almost 14%. 112 condos traded in Wailea in 2023. Uh, median price was up 38%. Kind of same thing we saw in homes, big spike in the median. And inventory has increased from 25 condos to 34 condos on the market from January to December of 2023. So definitely an increase there. Um, wanna touch on those median spikes. A um, Couple factors at play for the homes. This is due to the majority of the transactions that were happening were happening at higher price points. So the average didn't actually spike that much. It was up under 10%, but that median was drawn up because a lot of these sales were over 5 million, you know, or at least over 4 million four to six, eight, ten million dollars. Um, that's what was trading primarily in 2023. We did not see a lot of trades in the typical Wailea home median of you know mid threes to 
you know, low fours. Um, it's an interesting point to note there. Um, on the condo side, the spike in the median we feel is primarily due to most of, or actually, yeah, pretty much the majority of Lot Eloa um, starting to close. So those Lot Eloa transactions were bringing the median up. Um, several, you know, Kaimalus were seeing a spike in sales by the end of the year. Um, you know, Kaimalu had crested the 3 million mark. Um, Makali'i, we saw more transactions in Makali'i, which pushed that median up. Um, so a few different factors there contributing to that increased median in the condos. Now let's jump ahead. Um, here we are, we're sitting here, you know, mid-March, um, you know, not quite end of the first quarter, but I think it's a good time to kind of look at how are we trending this year, what to expect. Um, so year-to-date numbers, and we're just going to look at the island-wide stats. They tell a, a really, you know, really Really good picture for us. Um, single family homes, our volume year to date is up over 12%. So we're seeing an uptick in volume here. There's more happening. The median has jumped 18% year to date. So we're at 1.3 median right now. Uh, inventory is tightening up down 10%. So this is island wide again, and this is year to date. So inventory down 10% from this time last year. Um, Definitely seeing some demand from displaced um, West Maui victims of the fire um, that are purchasing properties in other areas of the island. That's definitely a factor. Um, we've definitely seen the activity in this median range increase. Definitely a higher volume of sales shown by that, you know, over 12% increase. Um, so some interesting things to note there. On the condo side, condo volumes are up 30%. Huge jump. Median is down 6%, and I'll, I'll dive into this and why we think that is in a second. And inventory for condos available up 78%. So big jump in inventory, also a decent healthy jump in sales volume, 30% up, um, with a decrease in the median. What's happening there? We're seeing more transactions island-wide at the median or below median price point. A lot of those entry level condos are trading. Again, a lot of this is due to the displaced families from the West Maui fire and finding a new place to live. We're seeing a lot of interest in those sub median, you know, which are median for condos is mid eights right now. So, you know, any of the condos in the 600s, 700s, we're seeing a lot of transaction volume happening there. Um, what to expect for the rest of the year obviously no one's got the crystal ball um anything can happen but we are seeing the market open up a little bit that increase in inventory is helping transactions to happen people who have been looking for certain properties you know may see something that is enticing to them and they're you know it's getting them to make the move um we expect that trend to continue through the year um Interest rates are going to be a big factor this year. We saw the peak at the beginning of the fourth quarter last year at cresting, you know, 8% on the 30 year. That has pulled back to hovering in the sevens. You know, we've seen some dips and, and some spikes, but it's been hovering roughly in the sevens. Hopefully, you know, people are expecting that to trend down through the year, obviously dependent on Fed rate cuts. Um, you know, I think if we can end the year anywhere in the low six, to fives, um, I think that would be great. You know, if I think if we hit the five by the end of the year, the activity in the market is going to absolutely go Richter. So we'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Lots of stats for you, lots of numbers. If you have questions, we're always here for you. And um, look forward to being a resource for all our clients and friends out there. Have a good one.